Hey y'all and welcome back. Uh, thank you for coming back uh, to Thirst Trap 101, episode nine on stories. My name is Ryan Lindsay and this is my YouTube series, Thirst Trap 101. Welcome back, y'all. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Thirst Trap 101. Uh, this one is on stories. And as I mentioned, uh, stories is going to be in two parts. So this is stories part A. Um, before I get going, you know, I got a few little housekeeping. Let's go ahead and just subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Seersucker Stud, Thirst Trap 101. Subscribe. It's just right there. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next thing is um, I got to do a little merch and this one is a super fabulous one. It's one of my absolute favorites. So please do me a favor and just look right over here. Okay, y'all, that, that is the deal. You have got to have this. You have got to get your Seersucker Stud smartphone case. You gotta take care of your phone. That's where you do your Instagram. So you just need to go to SeersuckerStud.com, find the store, uh, find the smartphone case that matches up to, to your device and put it in your car and buy it. I'm telling you, this one is a winner. It is durable, it's beautiful. It's, a, it's such a fabulous conversation starter. Like when you're taking a photo of somebody, they're like, what's that? That's gorgeous. What are those stripes? Oh, that's seersucker stud. It's this guy on YouTube, it's funny. So I'm telling you, y'all get your smartphone case. Thank you very much. Now on with our episode on stories, part A. Um, and just to let you know, the difference between A and B is going to be stories A is a little high level, 30,000 feet, um, basic mechanics, and then stories B is gonna be a little bit more detailed of the content on what you put in those stories. But let's go into the stories part A right now. You know I love to start out with the goal or what we are trying to accomplish in those little circles that are happening up above uh, your beautiful thirst trap page and that are appearing on everybody's Instagram page is why it's important to, to keep those active. We're gonna talk about that first. Next thing, mechanics. Um, I am going to go through the mechanics of really just simply how I upload a very sexy sort of thirsty photograph. Um, my episodes on stories, here's a caveat, are not going to be super technical about how to boomerang and how to splice music and how to add graphics. No, no, no. You've got plenty of resources for that. I'm going to be talking about um, sexy photographs and how best to utilize them in your stories function. Next thing, frequency. How often do you do them? With frequency, I'm going to talk about, you know, stories that you create on your own, as well as stories that you reshare from other pages. Then finally, I'm going to talk about some advantages of stories that I just will think will motivate you to have a regular use of that feature. So kicking it off, kicking it off, um, let's talk about our goal. Um, I've been talking about it for numerous episodes. You are trying to engage with users on Instagram. You are trying to please and keep loyal your followers that love the sexy photographs on your page. So this is just another opportunity. It's kind of like marketing. You know, when a company um, wants to market their product, they want to have as many impressions as possible. Coca-Cola wants you to see Coca-Cola everywhere, right? And so this is just for your, uh, your product is you 
And so you want to be seen as much as possible that the you by the users or followers or supporters um, that enjoy you, you the way you look, your photographs. And so stories are placed up there based on how popular they are with the user. The stories up on top of my page are the pages I interact with the most. So if somebody's interacting with your page a lot, when you activate a story, they're gonna see, Instagram's gonna put that up to the front because they know that you like that page. And so you wanna be there. You want to have a presence in the stories to keep your followers constantly reminded of you and what you're doing. It's just another way to be very visible uh, with your thirst trap page on Instagram. So um, that is our goal. Stay visible, keep uh, making impressions to the followers um, that really love your page and take advantage of that feature that's that's right there for you and I'm gonna show you is really quite easy to use. Um, now mechanics. Here's what I do. I am for this line item. I am just gonna be talking about the uploading of a sexy photograph and how to share it in your story and, and how what I do. So I, I click that little plus button. Uh, I click the story. I find, I often I'll have to find which folder it's in because mine are segmented by the photographer. I'll pick the daily photograph that I want to upload and then it's there. Now, that little icon up top that has the little face on it, it pulls up a ton of different things. You wouldn't go to the mention one because the most important one, especially for me, and if you employ the use of a professional photographer, is you need to put a sticker that tags back to the photographer. That's the first thing I do. The next thing I always do, I add the location. I love to add the location to my images and stories because again, it's part of the story. I live in Houston, but a lot of my photographs are taken elsewhere. Austin, Dallas, LA, New York, Paris. That adds a very cool element, a part of the story of where you were when this photograph was taken. So those are my two main things that I'll add. Now, this is just like tagging in on the photographs on your page. You want to uh, press up top again on the little smiley icon, um, go to mention, and now here's where you start to find submission pages. So for the photograph, the submission pages you want to pick ones that are applicable to that photograph. Like if there's ones that are devoted to guys that are hairy, you pick those. If it's a butt, the ones that are applicable to those. You can use up to 10. If you've used a photographer, that's one of them. So you've got nine left. Now what I do is I select all of them. I minimize them and then I put them behind the photographer's tag. The photographer's sticker on there that links back to their page, it's uh, opaque. Like it's not the see-through one that you, you know, would be able to see all of these tags behind it. You want to hide them. The goal here, my goal with stories, I like to keep it clean and beautiful just like the photographs on my thirst trap page. I don't like to have a lot of uh, text and graphics. I don't really even like to supplement mine with music. There are exceptions to that. I recently was wearing a raspberry beret in some of my photographs. I played some prints in the store. You see what I'm saying? So there are exceptions to that, but I like to have a very clean photograph I identify the photographer, I say my location, and then I hide all of the submission pages tags behind the photographer. So it keeps the presentation of that 15 second story very clean and chic 
and beautiful with it still achieving the desired effect of notifying all of those submission type pages that they have been tagged in a story and therefore encouraging and inviting them to reshare it in their story, bringing more attention back to your thirst trap page. I went over that kind of quickly, so y'all are gonna need to watch this episode a lot of times, but those are the basic mechanics. I upload pic, photographer, location, then hide the submission pages behind the photographer's tag. That's the way I do it. Now, frequency. Stories run for 24 hours. So my suggestion is you do an original story creation of your own at least once every 24 hours. You'll always have an active one. You know it's no longer active. You, well, first of all, it shows you the number of hours it's been running, so you kind of know. But on, your, on the top of your Instagram page, if you've got a little plus up there, that means there's no stories in there. You need to, you need to get active. You need to get on it and add a, add a story. So they go for 24 hours. Frequency would be once every 24 hours. That's with, with an original photo like I just described in the mechanics. Now, here's the thing. When, when and if, if you've achieved success, and a thirst trap submission page has share, reshared your photo in their story, you always want to reshare it, okay? But there's now a little caveat with this one too. If you've shared your sexy photograph, a submission page has reshared and you've thanked them, you've done the little gift, and so now it's the same, this photo, and then the same photo, I like to then mix it up. You've tagged nine possible submission pages that might be resharing it. Sometimes it's super hot. Sometimes five of those pages reshare it. So I don't like to have, even if you're showing gratitude, I don't like to have the same photograph story after story after story. You gotta break it up get creative. Things that help me, you can dip back into your archive to share a photo there and then oh then you can do that that sexy photograph again because the stories have been broken up. Do you see what I'm saying? It just adds a little element of variety. People love that sexy photograph. They appreciate that you are showing gratitude to the submission pages. But for everyone's benefit, break it up a little bit. Now, it's gonna be hard. You're gonna, if, if, you, if you luck out and a lot of pages reshare that in their story, then, then sometimes you're gonna have to consider, oh wait, this one rarely reshares. I need to definitely do that one. Sometimes you keep an eye on the time and by the time you share your next day's one, people, those stories you can still reshare from 24 hours from when they shared it. So you can still implement that variety up in your stories. That's just my personal preference because I want my users, supporters, followers that are watching my story not to see the same thing over and over. I do think it's a value add if it's in there three or four times, whoa, this image is popping. Look at how many pages are resharing it. I just don't like to put them all in a row. So that's my notes on frequency and how often to either originally share once every 24 hours at least, or the reshare. Always do it, but kind of break it up. You see what I'm saying? Okay, now advantages of stories, and then we're gonna wrap, um, we're gonna wrap. There's two main advantages of stories, and number one is the privacy. So, unlike the images on your page, you know, when you leave comments, those are visible for 
all the other followers and users and supporters to see. With these stories, when people reply to that, it goes to your direct messages. So you just see that. Now that can lead, of course, to some um, very interesting types of, of communication that you need to uh, monitor and be careful with. But for the most part, folks that do not want to leave very visible comments for whatever reason, this gives them the opportunity to engage and interact with you just between you and them. And so that's another reason to be active in stories. For folks that do not want to have public engagement with your photographs for whatever reason, don't analyze that. Just have them in your stories. Nobody can tell if they've DM'd you, but give them that opportunity. That's a really big advantage of stories, is the ability for followers and supporters to interact with you in a private way. Another one, I'm gonna talk about it a little, give these the details, but for me especially, and a lot, of, a lot of thirst trap holders, is that in the stories, you can add a link. Think some of the rules around this kind of stuff changes all the time, but when I was uh, coming along, you had to have at least 10,000 followers to have that option. So that's a reason right there to, to try to get your followers um, increased. Here's the thing. Um, with the photographs on your page, you can say things like, link in bio and they will have to come out go to the bio uh, click on the link navigate through there with the stories if you have that function offered directly from the story i can send them to my store i can send them to my thirst trap 101 new youtube episode i can send them to my blog it's just a really wonderful, powerful feature that is offered through stories. It's like a direct conduit to another page online that it's not available really anywhere else because it doesn't have that capability with the static photos on your page. It's a story feature that you want to utilize if you are trying to grow your brand, build your business, build, build your business. It allows you to directly link outside of Instagram. There has been a little change recently where for a long time, the link was up top and now, and you had to swipe up to go to that other website. The new thing, I swear to God, this is in like the last two weeks is um, you click on that um, icon with the smiley face and then it shows the link. So links to other website pages are now appearing like stickers and tags to other pages. So I like it better actually. It seems a lot more visible and easier to click than the whole swipe up thing, which I thought was a little arduous and, and confusing. So those are my advantages. There's many, but the ones I wanted to highlight in our program today are the private nature of getting um, folks to communicate with you that might otherwise have a little reservation, and then the link feature, which allows folks to go directly to another website that you would benefit from them going to. And that's it, that's it. That, that wraps my episode nine on stories part A. Um, and I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek uh, before uh, I tell you about episode 10 though. I'm gonna have to say subscribe, <laughs> subscribe. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel right now, Seer Sucker Stud, Thirst Trap 101. You love it, tell your friends, tell your colleagues, just do it, text everybody. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, thank you. Now, stories part B, episode 10, we're gonna, you know, today was high level, today was 30,000 feet. Um, stories part B, we're gonna go into some, uh, what type of variety you can incorporate into your stories. Some fun things that are really kind of applicable to thirst trap type pages like 
um, the close friends option, how to effectively utilize the highlights and you know organizing those stories in a special way. So I've got lots of very cool and fun items. You'll want to come back and join me uh, for Thirst Trap 101 episode 10. It's going to be stories part B. 